Welcome back to our Road to Nebula series here on BO6 Zombies. And in our last video, our top comment was from Crazy Star saying that they want us to complete the PP919, but we have to call it the PP919. Hate to break it to you, but that's already what it's called. And we can only use PhD and cannot upgrade our armor past level one. And as the cherry on top, we have to use the long barrel attachment. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And just in case you're curious, here's our build for the PP. Now I know what you're thinking, Joe, your PP looks kind of weird. And to that I say, no, it doesn't. It looks perfectly normal and it's average size. But I did just prestige. So currently I don't have the PP unlocked, but there is a wall by for it here on this map. So I'm just gonna be using the C9 with this blueprint for a second until we can get to our PP 919. But don't worry, I did already go ahead and make a class for it. I made a zombies build for it with the long barrel attachment. At least I... I think I did. I think I saved it. I hope I did. I guess we're going to find out once we get to the wall by. But to kind of counter all of our nerfs this game, where we can only use PhD and we can only have our armor at tier one, I went ahead and got some decent gobble gums. Some that might be able to help us out here. Temple Rift. That will help us get some points up. But I did bring in the one gobble gum that's supposed to get our weapon up to legendary so that should save me some salvage and i also brought in the infinite shooting gobble gum i can't remember the name of it but it's basically infinite ammo now the wall might should be somewhere over here i think let's get some nice packet burst going let's uh, go ahead and lag in a solo offline game or i guess it's always online that's got to be like the worst decision in this game everything else has been fire but always online is is terrible i don't know why they decided to do that but i'm having trouble finding my pp i don't know where it is i need a magnifying glass to help find it is it down here i guess we can just get power on first and then go look for it but while we're getting power on because i keep forgetting to do this in the intro uh if you guys want to leave a suggestion for what weapon you want to see us do next go ahead and leave it in a comment down below uh, i'll have a comment down there as well with every weapon that we've already completed so make sure you check that out first that way we don't get any repeats so there we go power should be on and look at that level two already is it in here hd is in here so we know where our one perk is so i guess we're gonna need some money if we do find it so zombies eat an aid Ooh. We are wasting some precious early game rounds here. Rounds that our gun's gonna benefit from. Oh, and here it is. Gimme. Now, this definitely has my build on it. That barrel is long. I got a suppressor on here, and I made it as short as possible in the back. But the cool thing about this gun is that it has an 85 round mag pretty early on. Like, I only have this up to level 20. And I'm pretty sure when we pack a punch this, this will at least double at the minimum. So we're going to have a fat amount of ammo to work with here. We just got to make sure that our damage can stay up to par. Race basket. I need a race basket. Damn, Strauss was throating it. He's still going. Anyone else here seeing a freak. And while we got a frenzied, let's go ahead and pop it. And try to get as many kills here as we can. Rack up our points. And okay, out of ammo. Instead of buying some ammo, we'll just go right over here and buy pack a punch. That'll help us out. Let's reroll for our gobble gum. Give me the legendary one. Nope. Shields up though. That'll help make our one shield plate last a bit longer. At least, you know, get our bang for our buck. But speaking of bang for our buck, let's go extreme couponing and look for some chests in the water. Maybe we can get some nice upgrades. And actually, I think to help us out, I saw a nice little clip, I think on Twitter, where if we take a nade, we can throw it right at this rock. Did that work? Oh, it did. Give me that. We got a nice little rebreather so we can be underwater for a bit longer. But I didn't find a single chest in there. And I'm sure that that worm monster is going to show up any second and since i can't find any chests in here let's see if we can find any goodies over here by the boat there's usually like two chests over here yeah there's one come on oh the ray gun and dead shot of course i can't use really either of these what a good pull though it's giving us all the good stuff when we can't use it oh an epic ether tool you know what i take it all back and the worm is here one more chest another ray gun two ray guns <laughs> We can have him akimbo, but no. I don't think I pick him up anyway, since we're grinding camos, but that's just insane. When I'm trying to do the Easter egg or whatever, trying to, you know, just survive out here. I don't find nothing good. Going for camos where I'm really only gonna be using this gun, they give me everything. But I guess this serves as your PSA. Make sure you check out those chests if you're playing on Terminus. Oh yeah, and let's look at the mag size. Oh, it's only at 292 right now. I don't think that's the full amount. 
I think we just might be running out of ammo a little bit here. But that's still so much to have none in your stock. We need a max ammo. I feel like I can feel a bug round coming on. Oh shit. That guy actually scared me. Why are you lunging at me like that? Ooh, a napalm burst? Mm, I don't think I want that. I think we might need cryo freeze for uh, one of our special camos. I can't remember what the other special camo is. It's probably just like full stuff. Would have thought. And you know what? Let's just buy ammo. 340 bullets in the mag. That's actually crazy. This is a good gun to have this little challenge with. We might actually be able to do something. Oh, I think I actually remember what the challenge was. I think it's getting kills without reloading, which you probably don't really need to do very much with this gun. We can just sit here and shoot forever. It's got more ammo than like most LMGs. This PP is huge. It's got a girthy mag. Oh. We got slapped by a bug. Okay, so we need to go ahead and buy ourselves another self-revive. Or we could gamble and maybe find one in a chest in the water. What do you say, game? You want to help me out? Oh, another epic aether tool. Not bad. I guess I'll throw that on this. What the... F what just hit me? Oh, the bug just nutted into the water it was acidic but no self revive for us so we gotta go find one there's a crafting table on this island though right gotta be yes there is right where we parked our boat give me that let's just do a little bit more drive around on the boat see if we can't find any more chests and then we'll go pack a punch there's treasure in these waters i'm gonna find them Ooh, there's chests hold on let's take the worst angle with this boat over to it oh wait that's not a chest that's Audemars Paget. Give me that. Can I sell this shit? We're about to be rolling in it. Screw saving Nathan. I'm giving myself a Bentley. Or at the very least, some Cartier frames. Uh-oh. Worm's back. All right, we'll uh, hide out on this island for the meantime. What am I supposed to do with the, the paquette? Can I bribe someone with it? Can I give it to an amalgamation and then he'll be chill? Anything else hiding out in these waters around this island? Maybe some uh, Dior Jordan ones. I'm looking for those. Oh, speed call? Guess what? Can't even use it. We'd be so set up right now if we weren't doing a challenge. I think I might have just brought in all the wrong gobble gums for this. Because we don't need all, like, that infinite ammo, really. We're barely reloading. Maybe, like, once a round at the end of the round. And I don't think I'm going to need that legendary upgrade. Because we're already getting, like, pretty close to being able to upgrade it ourselves. Oh, wait, there's a chest right here. Another epic aether tool. They're spoiling us. Okay, I might have gotten a little distracted over here. Let's go ahead and grab Pack-A-Punch. We got a lot of cash to spend. Pack-A-Punch, you better be down here. It's not. Awesome. You gotta wait for it. There's an amalgamation. Cool. Guess what? No. That's very bad. We are running. Wait first. Give me that. Uh, let's grab PhD on the way. Just because that's the only thing we have anyways. But I did go ahead and grab both the slide upgrades for PhD. So I should be able to slide with it and slide further. So if I'm in a tough situation or I need to move somewhere fast, PhD can help me out. It'll be just like Cold War. Okay, amalgamation. Actually, you know what? We can mess you up. You already took out one of your heads? You can do it again. Oh, wait. Hold on. I am out of ammo. Let's, um... Actually, I forgot. I still can't throw cryo freeze on this. I don't have it unlocked yet. I can just pack a punch it real quick. And let's light him up. Let's also use our frenzied. And let's just stay in the pocket here. Yeah, you can grab me all you want. Ain't gonna help you. You're done. You're toast. Sleep. All you zombies are gone too. I'm not phased. Frenzy guards is way too good. Oh, and I can also nade at my feet if I really need to. You know what? This is fine. Rocking one armor plate ain't too bad. But let's use a key real quick. Anything good from it? Another ray gun. That's three. What? I'm using up all my wonder weapon luck this game. I still don't understand what this room here is used for. I, I really thought I was going to have like a, a big roll in the Easter egg, but it hasn't really done anything. What if it's something crazy where after like some of the DLC maps come out that another crew comes back to this map and is able to do something different? It's not like they blew up Terminus. It's still here, but there's still something waiting there. I even need an ADS with this. The hipfire accuracy ain't bad. We're just spraying, lighting them up and also getting a little bit lit up, but not too much. Oh, there's a thousand crits already. Let's go. Should I just throw one of these on here? I think I'm gonna get dead wire. 
for now. Because I'm pretty sure Deadwire is super effective against the amalgamations, and that's really our biggest threat. So if we can get a little bit of an advantage on them, that would be nice. Oh, and a standstill trial? Easy. Actually, let's get to a, a, a corner or something. Let's go right here. Frenzy's gonna make this immaculate. Until it runs out, then we have to use our bomb. Which still worked. But uh would have liked to not go down, especially this early. Maybe there's a self-revive in here though. It was all worth it. Nope. And we got a uh, scrap to spare. Would like to get this to legendary, but we're gonna have to wait a little bit. I'll never financially recover from this. Oh, and we lost PhD. Come on. Why can't I just keep the one perk? But since we aren't spending our money on perks, we can go ahead and get this to PAP 3. And we should be able to shred for quite a bit. Now, I wonder if there's like a better camo grinding spot than what I've been mainly using here on Terminus. I basically just train right in this area over here. I could use the one lab. I guess I'll open it just in case I want to use it, but I feel like that's extremely dangerous, especially with us only having, you know, the, the one perk and the one armor plate. But maybe when we have a frenzy, we can go in there. It'd be a nice, like, ring of fire type spot. We absolutely destroyed that amalgamation. Still kicking it over here, too. This gun's a monster in an insta-kill. Give me that. Love that you can still build up your field upgrade with insta-kill in this game. Such a good change. Now I don't have to avoid insta-kills like the plague. Oh, we unlocked rapid fire for this? Okay. That's gotta be nice. Basically, diet double tap. We can do a little bit of uh, diet double tap ourselves and get this up to legendary, boost our damage. Look how nice our PP looks. Such a sweet looking gun. And I'm glad even though they're not using like the manufacturer name for it or whatever, they still kept the PP in there. We're kind of fucking up this trial here. All we have to do is stay in this area and we're kind of dominating. This thing's accuracy while moving ain't bad. Okay. I gotta gas the gun up for it to run out of ammo. I'm still staying in here though. I'm not fucking leaving. Someone could drop some ammo though. That'd be nice. That'd be cool. I don't want to waste any of my gobble gums. I'm not going to use my infinite ammo one right now. Because all these zombies are going to be dead in a second. Bye bye. Go off. Thank you. And we got not a whole lot. What do now? I mean, besides grind out the camos. We're, we're fully set up. As, as set up as we can be. Oh! Okay, well, I guess next thing you can do is buy another self-revive and buy a uh, PhD back. Oh, we can't afford a self-revive right now. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, we got armor, but we do got cash. Come back to me, PhD. I'm gonna be running back to you all game. Is this enough scrap right here? Oh, just en enough. Ah, uh, actually a little bit over. Let's go. We, uh, I think we're already at our limit, though, for self-revives. It's rough out here. But the PP for sure goes hard in this game. I'm liking it. I'm I'm quite enjoying the PP. Yahoo! Gotta use equipment for this. Bet. Amalgamation, you need to leave, sir. Right now, please. Oh, shit. No going down. You do not need that. Oh, okay. All right. You know what? It's not the end of the world. It is if we don't get this monkey bomb off, though. And where did that amalgamation go? I want him dead. There we go. Uh, he's hurt, but he's not dead. He's so close, though. Please. Kick the bucket. There we go. Got him. There's no more nades to use. Oh, no. Use it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my lanta. No idea how we lived through that, but self-revive in here? Nope. Come on. You can't help me out, game? Oh, how am I supposed to get through this? Oh, but I do have a key. Let's just double check and see if I can craft a self-revive. Nope, can't. We're gone. We're out of them. I should probably start using my gobble gums. That might be smart. But also, I'd be dumb because I could be uh, on the brink of death. Another one? This is ridiculous. Four ray gun drops we've got in this game. Four. The game's just messing with me at this point. My goal for at least this game and maybe the next, depending on how long this takes, is to at least get to a level where we can unlock the PP and then bring it on to Liberty Falls. I feel like I can uh, grind out my camos a bit faster on there. It'll feel earned. Oh, crouch kill's easy. Okay, maybe it was easy while I had my frenzied. Not easy now. Run! barely escaped with our lives. It is a little too hectic down here. I think we need to leave. Actually, can we get crouch kills or just crouch right here while the tackles go off? Does that count? I don't think it does. 
We need to leave. No! How? Hello? I was mid-slide. All right, whatever. You know what? That's probably for the best. Because then we get a nice little reset on our self-revives. Oh, we did unlock Cryo, though. That's nice. We can rethink our gobble gums a little bit, though. Um, I don't see whenever else I'll use this. Ooh, and wall power. We can just pack a punch it right away. This is so extra because we're going to have so much money anyways. Uh, I'll just have anywhere but here to save my ass. But getting the pack a punch right away would be nice, actually. So let me get wall power. We're back to it. Ooh, and we got the gobble gum we're looking for right off the bat. Sick. Let's pop our gobble gum. And gimme. Let's go, dude. What's it called? The uh, urine trouble? What's that got to do with pee pee? Oh, urine. Gotcha. Good one. That's actually very nice. Very clever. Good shit, Treyarch. You got me. You got me with the pee joke. But any loot down here while we're taking a nice dip? You're very generous to me last game. Maybe you can be generous, but uh, also give me something that I need. What do you say, game? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That scared me so bad. All right, all right, all right. I'm getting out. I was just looking for some loot. I was just looking for some loot. Please let me out. Holy shit. God damn, dude. I was just enjoying my time swimming around. And I actually just almost gave me a heart attack. And we're still surviving over here on round 27. Kind of crazy. This gun's nice. Imagine if we could actually use perks or armor. We'd be going off even more than we already are. Come on. We are just handling this. Give me my camo just because of how excellent I'm playing. Oh, shit. Here I go talking again. Stop. Stop, all right? I, I apologize. I, I was not playing... Dude. I swear. What is wrong with me? I do not learn. I learned nothing. And our gun is really hitting a wall here. Oh, we could really use that headshot multiplier barrel or, I don't know, dead shot. That could help. Mm -hmm. this shit got me growling. I'm actually starting to get concerned that maybe I already got my camo and just didn't even see it. I could save and quit to look, but I don't want to. I'm pretty sure I'm out of self-revives. Yep, we're screwed. Unless this golden loot key can help me out. Let's go see. Self-revive, please. <gasps> nope. Lame. I think the game's trying to give us a, a free reward for just plugging it out. So I did not do this trial over here on the boat. Well, let's see if we can grab it real quick. Oh, monkey bomb. Okay, I'll use that. And we're even struggling to get crits now. These zombies are too strong. Oh, but there's purple tiger. I spoke too soon. There we go. Now we just need cryo freeze kills and kills without reloading. So let's go ahead and reload. I'm a genius. Actually, I might be able to get this done this game. And that's if we can survive though, because I don't got a self-revive. Well, if I can't buy a self-revive, I might as well get something to help me out, like some Semtex. Let's throw that. Maybe I can get my field upgrade or nope. We can just die. Awesome. And they leapfrogged me again. Why'd they always try to style on me? That was not a bad game for, you know, what we had going for us. 1,600 kills, 846 crits. Not too shabby. One more game should do it. Hopefully. In the future, I'm grinding out, like, basically all the crits for the guns before we hop in here. Oh, let's go stalking Shadow. That didn't look too bad at all. One camo to go. Or I guess two. One camo to go until we do Mystic Gold. <laughs> There's a level up. Did I get our other camo? Yes, sir. Solvent. That actually looks really sick. Both the special camos for this gun look sick. Oh, uh, rapid kill is about to be so easy. We could probably get them all done just this round. An insta kill with this gun. It's like I can infinitely fire. It's like not far off from just having infinite ammo in this gun. Oh, speaking of ammo, we even got enough zombies for me. This has got to be gold right here. We are absolutely just tearing through this entire horde. Come on. Hand it over. We already know we deserve it. All right, game. Play hard to get. Oh, there it is. We're all done. We did it. Damn, this felt like a long grind. It's been very satisfying. Barely having to reload at all. Kind of a sick gun. I can't wait to come back to it when we grind out Opal on the SMGs. And here is what our PP looks like in game with Mystic Gold. Honestly... This might be one of my favorite weapons in the game now. The just massive amount of ammo you get after pack-a-punching. It was like 300-something bolts in the mag. Absolutely insane. And the damage ain't bad either. 
It was absolutely tearing through things. And despite not having any upgrades, we made it to some pretty decent rounds. But that's enough PP for me. I'm going to go ahead and go to bed. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate our love and support. And I will see you in the next one. Later.